So today we will talk about interviews and this will be a two-part video and the second one we will talk about expenses. This part we will talk about the interview with a Spanish education advisor and the second part will be tips on the visa and also the visa interview. So we're just going to take turns and share our experience. If the most general um, advice for you guys is to prepare. Would you agree? Yes. 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 Not like yeah. scripted prepare but prepare your answers. Prepare your English. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then if you feel like you need to practice, I think you should practice. What else? What else can you say? Like generally. Uh, be calm. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, stay calm. <laughs> and um, I think this is the most important. Be yourself. Because um, keep in mind that you're applying for a student visa. So she's really just trying to know, to get to know you, like your personality and character. And your intentions as well, since this is a student visa. We were needed na parang professional ka, like hot kasi ano na, ano tayo like office. Ah, uh, parang office wear, like yeah, smart yeah, casual. Smart yeah. casual. Pwede naman ata, I think like casual. Casual lang. Pero I did this year online naman, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Pero yeah. If ever lang. Mm. For future. And of course, manners like good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So right now we're going to share our own experiences. Um, so who's gonna go first? Okay, go. Okay. Ako yun na onakas details, right? <laughs> so ako talaga yung ano sa batch. Um, so ako to prepare. Um, may practice talaga ako sa mirror as in like, mm -hmm. medyo shy kasi ako. Mm -hmm. So and first job like job interview mm -hmm. ko. Mm -hmm. And then, nung nandun na talaga nandun na kami sa like malapit sa kung pumasok. Ayaw ko na talaga sa kung mauwi na tayo sa galit kung mamo. Pero bakit ka uwe? Kasi <laughs> so, sinawan ako ng mamo hanggang taas. So, nung una, medyo kinakabahan ako eh. Tapos sabi ni Miss Sandra, kung siya pa rin this year, sabi niya, parang inhale, exhale, ganyan. Mm -hmm. Tapos sinanong lang niya about family, bakit ka nag-apply. And then yung last question niya sa akin, parang, um, what's your plan five years, five to ten years from now? And like, oh! Yan. Yeah. M&M na na. Pero yun, nice hindi. Ganun yung oh. question sa akin. Pero madali lang naman, nakakakaba lang. Oo. Uh -huh. yeah. Sa akin, ano, basic lang yung questions sa akin eh. Ano lang, about family, about self. Tapos, yeah, yun lang. Kasama ko yung nanay ko nun. Tapos, nag-grab nag, uh, nag pa kami nun. Kasi, hindi naman alam kung saan talaga yun. <laughs> Parang nawala-wala pa kami nun. Pero, so, ayun. Sobrang basic lang sa akin eh. And I think it's just a little bit intimidating, minsan. Kasi yeah. siyempre, foreigner, tapos first time namin noon. Mm -hmm. So, hindi lang namin alam kung same experience ngayon. Dahil siyempre may okay. pandemic. So, ang alam namin is online. And by the way, we heard na wala ng sec um, stage 2. For um, general public, they won't open because there's so many applicants from the partner, partner schools. schools. But we never know, you know, baka may hindi makapasok and everything, uh -huh. and they might open. But as of now, I think sa website, um, sinabi na nila na close. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for my own experience, medyo mahirap siya kasi pinractice ko din. And then, siguro sa sobrang, alam ko na yung isasagot ko, jire-jirecho yung sagot ko. So, it Parang it seemed like it was scripted in a way. And then, natensa ko nung sinabi niya, You know what? Non-verbatim. You know what? Um, your answers are beautiful, but um, what makes you different from the rest of the candidates? Kasi maganda din daw yung mga sagot ng kanil. So, hindi ko alam. Thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> Miss Universe! Yung tanong niya. Ano din na, ang dami na kasi before. Anina. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, feeling ko it also matters yung time of the day. Kasi ang dami ng... Siguro pagod na din siya. Medyo hapon na, I think. Yeah. Or pa lunch time. Oh, sa akin, 11. Parang yeah. 11 sa akin. Siyempre, depende din talaga sa mood ng interview. And, yun yun. Oo, prepare your answers. Like, for example, just ask yourself. Well, just prepare lang. Like, how do you see yourself 10 years from now? Why are, why do you want to apply? Yeah, yeah. Why, are, why are you applying? Like, just, alamin nyo lang sa sarili nyo yung mga sagot nyo. You don't have to memorize it or anything. Kasi that's what I learned na she's really trying to get to know you. Kasi dun sa dulo, she said na, she told me, um, you know what? Um, I feel like there's more to you than you're le le uh, letting on. Uh, letting on ba yun? Then you are letting on, yeah. Oh, then you are letting on. So, ayun. So, dun ko na ano na, 
medyo person. Ah, may mga kilala kami na tinanong, tell me about your best friend, what's your hobby, interest, as in yun lang. Yun lang yun. Yes, si Claire. Yeah. Um, and yun lang experience namin. So, be yourself. And of syempre, prepare pa rin kahit pa paano. And pinaka important for me is galingan yung mag English. Yeah. yeah. Kasi dun talaga siya makikinig kung magaling ka magsalita, if I call your accent ka, mm -hmm. punto. Ganun. Yeah. Tapos dun din niya tinitingnan kung saan ka mas ilalagay, kung sa primary ba or sa mm -hmm. secondary. Kasi yung sa akin parang sabi niya na I think mas ma uh, mas bagay ka sa primary. Eh, yun naman talaga yung gusto ko primary. So, ang nilagay ko sa application ko, mm -hmm. primary, guess where I am now? Secondary. High school. <laughs> and we're just going to share to you common questions from the batch and maybe like how to answer it. So, tell me about yourself. Um, that's one question. Pwede pa parati. Okay, so tell me about yourself. What you can share is school experiences, yeah. teaching experiences. Mm -hmm. yeah. Teaching experiences, kailangan If you have. Yeah. Meron naman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interests, hobbies, kasi nga, kinikilala talaga kayo sa interview. Yeah. Um, why are you applying? Well, that really depends on you. Yeah. And, ang, I think, sinagot ko nun is for experience, to hone my skills, yeah. and I think that's it. Ano ba siya? Mga ganun lang. Um, family, um, she will ask about your parents, like, they work, ilan yung uh -oh. siblings mo, yung mo yeah. and what Kung they do. Kung ano yung work nila. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it, hobbies and interests. Yun yung pinaka-common, I think. And um, nag-search ako sa group, and ito yung mga ibang tinanong sa mga pandemic batch. Kasi, for sure, I think this will still be applicable. This coming interviews, kasi may, may pandemic pa din. So, they were asked, um, why are you applying to this program? Um, what do you know about the language assistance program? Does your family support your decision and everything like that? Because it's kind of hard now, but but mm -hmm. usually basic questions lang talaga and mas tungkol talaga sa yon. And that's it for the first part. Second part, we're going to talk about visa, the requirements. Just quick tips on it and the visa um, visa interview. So the first is for me is really be organized, like all your papers. Ayusin talaga. Um, follow nyo yung parang list. Yeah. So, ito yung original and ito yung photocopy. Kasi what they will do is, iko cross check nila if may photocopy ka ng mga bagay-bagay. So, kung ano yung pagkakasunod dito, ganun din yung pagkakasunod sa photocopy. And be organized talaga para hindi na din nila hanapin yung mga papel nyo and everything. Ganun, make sure complete kayo. Documents naman, um, give proof as much as you can. Siyempre, bank certificate, mm -hmm. bank statement. Yung statement yung like flow ng money mm -hmm. and then, one tip lang din, if hindi ganun ka laki okay, yung okay. money sa bank, start na ano, as early as possible. Okay. Really like six months or nine months okay. before, ganyan, if kaya. Ganyan. And sa bank din, pwede nyo din ilagay yung ITR. Ba basta same, bank cert, bank statement, and ITR. Yan lang. Mm -hmm. So if maghuhulog, start as early as, as possible. possible. Um, because iniiwasan nila yung one time big time na hulog, yung mga oh, ganun. Yung super halata like show, show money. money. Mm -hmm. And pwede din kanya yung may business kayo, yung mga documents nun. Kasi yung yeah, sabi, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Ano, I forgot ko ano yung term, pero yung ano ng business and then the back. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And um, next naman, sponsor. So, sa pag-apply kasi ng visa, kailangan mo ng affidavit of support. Mm -hmm. So, nakala-state doon kung sino yung susuporta sa'yo financially. And, nakalagay din doon na susuportahan ka nila financially hanggang makauwi ka. Hanggang makauwi ka. So, for the duration of your stay, kailangan stated doon sa affidavit of support na we are willing to support this person. Mm -hmm. Ganon. Tapos, dapat yung sponsor nyo, directly related to you, like blood-related. Hindi, parang, mas maganda yon kesa sa friend lang ng friend magulang. Lang magulang yeah. Or, tapos, dapat i-establish yung relationship. So, birth certificates, ganyan-ganyan. Mas maganda if same kayo ng surname ng sponsor mo. Parang, mas mapaniniwala sila na, ay, kamag-anak mo to, mas mm -hmm. direct yung ano. And, parang you have access to the money, money yeah, to support. Exactly. And like for example, ang nag-sponsor sa akin is tita ko, kapatid ng father ko. 
So, nagbigay ako ng birth certificate ng father ko, nagbigay ako ng birth certificate ng tita ko to establish na magkapatid sila. You really need to establish the relationship na hindi lang siya basta sa sponsor mo, ganon. And that they will support you. Okay, so kung ang sponsor mo ay OFW, Hello. kasi yung sa akin, sponsor ko, tatay ko. Tapos, uh, dun sa affidavit of support, yung tatay ko, parang di, merong general power of attorney yung nanay ko. Mm -hmm. Na parang, sa, siya yung umaaktong nandyan in behalf of my father. Ganyan. Tapos, ang, since walang ITR, ang mga OFW, ibibigay, binigay ko contract, tapos yung, yung parang history niya dun sa, dun sa company. Since matagal na yung tatay ko dun sa company na yun, medyo mahabang list yun na ilang taon na siya nag, 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 natrabaho dun sa company na yun. Tapos yung contract nakalagay dun na yung sweldo, ganon. Tapos, yung, actually, yun na. Yun na. So yes, it is possible to have an um, a sponsor na OFW. It's just that yung papers kilangan parang sa ano yung author authorized yeah. sign from the country where they're from. And now we will talk about experiences, um, visa experiences, especially sa interview. Um, for me, mas madali ang visa interview than kay Ms. Sandra because sa visa interview, literal na basic kung basic. And the best um, advice would be short and concise. And of course, honest as well. Kung ano yung itatanong, yun lang yung isasagot mo. Kasi ang ginagawa nila, pinafollow nila yung papers na binibigay mo. Tapos, tinatanong nila as they follow the paper, the documents. Yeah. Tapos, they write on the photocopy. Yeah. So, like their comments, ngayon, ganyan. Kasi ako, tinanong ako about my ate and kuya, kung ano yung work nila, mm -hmm. kung saan sila nag-work, ngayon, ganyan. Tapos, yung magulang ko rin, tinanong kung ano yung work, kung saan sila ngayon, mm -hmm. So, parang nila, nila, sinusulat nila yon sa document. So, dapat short yung answers. Parang no flowery words yeah. or anything. Stay to the point. Oh, yeah. Correct. So, they're going to ask about, yun nga, family, work ng parents, asaan, ilang kapatid, siblings, may work pa. Um, kailan mo gustong umalis? Like, kung dumating sa Spain? Mm -hmm. And then, how old are you? Sa akin, tinanong kung anong school. Anong school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tapos, when I said, US, oh, US. Oh. <laughs> Sa akin, tinanong lang anong trabaho ng magulang, ilang taon yeah. ka na, I think yun lang. Sa akin, well, sa akin din, ganun din. Tapos, kasi so, yung sa intended date of arrival, parang minsan binabasa nila yun sa karta, yeah. nang sa letter of appointment na ibibigay ng region. So, since sa Madrid, October 1, oh, I think sa lahat. Yeah, yun? I think pwede na because may medical ka na ng September, September 15, 15 ka allowed. Onwards. Onwards. Yeah. But we just don't know if it's still applicable like this yeah. year kasi so, may batch na earlier than September 15 hindi pwede kasi doon lang yung start ng insurance mo so, yeah. yeah and what's your purpose yeah. so you're just gonna say na you need a student visa okay. kasi mag internship ka in this school and that's it I said kung ano yung tanong yun yung so, sagot, sagot. Yeah. Um, you're a language assistant ganito ganyan Always remember that this is an internship. Mm -hmm. You are technically still a student. Mm -hmm. Dapat walang mababanggit na work, work employment, employment. Because the moment they sense that for you this is like a job, an employment, um, usually like a case, you know? And aside from the basic questions, it will also really depend on your papers. papers. Kung gaano ka linis, kaplakado yung mga papel mo. The, means the more na mas ma okay, organized and everything. Wala naman sila masyadong itatanong kasi yung mga sagot nandun naman and yeah. everything. And yes, it is possible to appeal if ever you get denied. Um, they're gonna state it in the letter Y and then you can appeal and provide more documents, documents and proofs like, um, syempre, to appeal your case. And, and also, we want to give you some tips for immigration. Um, they say, avoid flying over Hong Kong. Yeah. Because, uh, ano ba? Naghanap kasi si Hong Kong ng proof na babalik ka. 
Mm-hmm. Kung sabi naman yun ni Sandra na don't, yeah. ano. Yeah. Usually, it's uh, orientation. They will orient you na don't fly over Hong Kong, Hong Kong because yeah. there may mga complications. Yeah. And sa Philippine immigration naman, they are aware of this program. So, usually, they will just look for the carta. Okay. And during this pandemic, hinahanap nila ang medical insurance. So, that's very yeah. important. Your letter of appointment and medical insurance. Na, yeah. to Also, to prove that this is an essential travel. Yeah. Sa amin nun, sa batch namin, kula lang, yeah. parang tumawa lang si kuya. Pero, ay talaga, ano ka gawin nyo doon? Gano'n kayo katagal? Pero ano ba din, handa nyo lang yung documents nyo kasi kami ni Nina, like, may karta pero dala-dala namin let like, yung like the whole time. time. Everything. Yeah. Oh my God, nung umalis ako, sobrang bigat ng bag ko nun kasi <laughs> meron akong favorite. tatlang kopya ng medical insurance. Yeah. Eh, yung isang kopya nun, 20 pages. So, I got like 60 pages dun sa backpack ko. Yeah. So, Basta, handa nyo lahat ng papel na pwede pag hiningi. And also, it's better if you have English translations. Yeah. Kasi yeah. yung mga letter naka-Spanish. So, pag nag-ano kayo sa immigration, ganyan. And study. Always remember to study and hindi work, not work. So, I think that's it. So, if you have any more questions about interview, visa interviews, especially we know that this is application period and interview period na sa Philippines. Mm -hmm. So, just comment it down below. And the next video (laughs) will be about um, travel expenses. Like, what did we have to spend sa Philippines before coming here? Mm -hmm. And And also monthly expenses. Yeah. Yeah. And also monthly expenses here. here. So, just wait for that video. I will try my best to upload it ng magka magkadikit yung dalawang videos and that's it so if you have any other questions just comment it down below thanks for watching bye, bye. one two <laughs> wait wait now <laughs> first um this is gonna be a two-part video again but for the first one we're going to <laughs> i'm trying so hard i'm trying so hard <laughs>